Hi folks, this is Nurse Kaloy. Greetings to all my subscribers, soon to be subscribers, and to all my friends here and abroad. I have this video, an informative video, if I may call it that way. Uh, it is about three things. It's about just the recent typhoon that struck Philippines. It's called the Super Typhoon Odette. And uh, similarity with the uh, Omicron variant and the politics in Philippines. Okay, just to give you an intro for this uh, typhoon of death and the previous typhoon. FYI, now, Philippine archipelago has 7,641 islands, which experience different disasters such as recurrent typhoons just like i mentioned ang typhoon super typhoon odette is living towards vietnam just for today and of course marami ma families houses they're being displaced death etc etc i'll gonna mention further later as we go along with this video Okay, Philippines is being a disaster island or country which has an average of 20 typhoons each year and five of which are devastating. One of them is the super typhoon Yolanda. Uh, this happened in November 2013. Um, other disasters are earthquakes, floods, storm surges, vulcan volcanic eruption, and that is why Philippines is, or it was dubbed as the third most disaster prone country in the world behind Tonga and Vanuatu. Both countries, Tonga and Vanuatu, is in the uh, continent of Oceania, in the South Pacific Ocean, just FYI. Okay, you might ask, what is the connection of Typhoon of Death to politics and Omicron variant, as you can see on the title? Well, okay, I'll give you first the politics in relation to the typhoon Odette. As we all know, or maybe for all those who doesn't know, you notice that the name given to each typhoon is a female name. You know, sabi nila kasi of the uh, fickle mindedness. I don't know if that is true or not. But what I said is palipat-lipat o pabago-bago ang, ang bugso ng ulan, pabago-bago, palipat-lipat, ang landfall ng bagyo, just like on this Typhoon Odette, meron siyang nine down, uh, downfall or landfall. Uh, started with uh, Surigao del Norte, it went to Bohol, Cebu, Iloilo, other parts of Western Visayas. And the last landfall was in uh, Palawan. So there were nine. So ibig sabihin palipat-lipat to ang bagyo. Pabago-bago ang lakas, pabago-bago ang ihip ng hangin, ang bugso ng ulan ay pabago-bago. That is why sinasabi ko related po ito sa politics in the Philippines. Kasi po, this is the main one reason, I mean, maybe you guys have read already ang urong sulong na decision ng Pangulo sa kanyang pagtakbo tapos mag-withdraw si Bongo tumakbo as senator, vice president na vice, na president nag-withdraw Mga substitutions, pabago-bagong isip nila. 
as you can see on the post. Party switching. Isa pa yan sa problema ng ating politics sa Philippines. Politi party switching is a perversion of political system in the Philippines. As to define the word perversion, it is an alteration of something from its original course. Deliberately behaving badly or improperly, as you can see the example, and uh, party switching is unhealthy in democratic nation. Why is it like mentioned like that? Kasi po, marami hong mga wanyan, consequences. Pag ang politician pa bago-bago, it's just like they're only after some political gains, which is bad. Kasi, ang nangyayari po niyan, ang mga politician natin, lalo ngayon, 2020 elections, pabago-bago, palipat-lipat sila ng party, nagkakaroon po lang, po, it's all about political gain, I'm sorry. Uh, political gain lang po ang lumalabas na dahilan. Para sa kanilang sarili, hindi para sa bayan. Imbes na pag-isipan ang magawang tulungan ang ating mga kababayan ay sa ngayon nagtitiran sila, nagsisiraan. Ang kanila mga plataforma is this and like that. Pero no one ever mentioned about the uh, devastating effect of this typhoon which is uh, dito sa Yolanda, I mean uh, Odette. There were 83,000 I think this place uh, family maraming naghirap kaya pa namin namatay ang ating politics like I said is just like bagyo like the typhoon or any typhoon that struck Philippines kasi po ang ating political system is pabago-bago rin ang ating mga politicians is pabago-bago just think about what happened to Yolanda how many people died how many uh, families were displaced. Okay, economy was devastated. Nasira, marami nasira, marami naghirap. Kaya yung po sinasabi ko, ang ating politics is similar to the bagyo, to the typhoon. Okay, furthermore, I would like to compare also yung Omicron. As everybody know, we are under pandemic. Ang Omicron variant is napakabilis ang pagtransfer o pagkahawa or paglipat sa isang pasyente mo dali lang po ilipat yan ang virus kaya nga po dapat meron tayong social distancing just like the two bagyo at saka politics ang Omicron ay nagkokos na rin po ng maraming damage, maraming namatay maraming naghirap sa buhay dahil na, na apekto na ating ekonomiya, nawalan ng trabaho. Kaya halos pare-pareho sila, di ba? Ngayon, dalawa na po ang merong Omicron diyan sa Pilipinas. Dalawang katao na ang naapekt uh, nagkaroon ng uh, or were afflicted with the Omicron virus variant. Ngayon, dito sa aking short discussion between the three Ano po ang makikita niyo similarity ng tatlo ng typhoon politics as an Omicron variant? Ang masasabi ko, just to conclude, the similarities of these three is yung collateral damage. Just like I've mentioned briefly or partially, ang typhoon or death there were 83,000 or more ang na-displaced na pamilya. Nawalan, naghirap, nawalan ng trabaho yung iba, marami na matay. Ang politics, dahil sa kanilang kababayaan na nangyay, tulad na nangyari sa Yolanda, anong nangyari? Marami rin nawalan ng trabaho, ang ekonomiya na apektuhan, Dahil nagkakaroon ng polis sa pansariling political gain ang ating mga 
politicians. Katulad ngayon, kulang-kulang ang evacuation centers. Doon sa Yolanda, pinangako sa mga tao, pabahay hanggang ngayon. Walang nangyari, maraming nagreklamo, maraming na, na, namatay, nawalan ng trabaho, naghirap. Ngayon, sa Omicron variant ng COVID-19, marami rin namatay, maraming naghirap, maraming nawalan ng trabaho, ang ekonomiya apektado. For all those three, ang ekonomiya ay apektado, malaki po ang collateral damage yan. Lahat sila ay merong collateral damage. Yun po ang similarity ng tatlong yan. Sang ayon na ba kayo? Nasa niyo po yun. Just give your comment below and please subscribe and share this video. Salamat po. Nurse Kaloy. Good night.